A return period, also known as a recurrence interval is an estimate of the likelihood of an event, such as an earthquake, flood or a river discharge flow to occur. It is a statistical measurement typically based on historic data denoting the average recurrence interval over an extended period of time, and is usually used for risk analysis. The following analysis assumes that the probability of the event occurring does not vary over time and is independent of past events. Equation, recurrence interval equals, and number of years on record. M is the number of recorded occurrences of the event being considered, for floods, the event may be measured in terms of mar cubed slash s or height. For storm surges, in terms of the height of the surge, and similarly for other events. Return period is expected frequency, the theoretical return period is the inverse of the probability that the event will be exceeded in any one year. For example, a 10-year flood has a or 10% chance of being exceeded in any one year and a 50-year flood has a 0.02 or 2% chance of being exceeded in any one year. This does not mean that a 100-year flood will happen regularly every 100 years, or only once in 100 years. Despite the connotations of the name return period. In any given 100-year period, a 100-year event may occur once, twice, more, or not at all and each outcome has a probability that can be computed as below. Note also that the estimated return period below is a statistic, it is computed from a set of data, as distinct from the theoretical value in an idealized distribution. One does not actually know that a certain or greater magnitude happens with 1% probability, only that it has been observed exactly once in 100 years. This distinction is significant because there are few observations of rare events. For instance if observations go back 400 years, the most extreme event may later be classed, on longer observation, as a 200-year event or a 500-year event. Further, one cannot determine the size of a 1,000-year event based on such records alone, but instead must use a statistical model to predict the magnitude of such an event. Even if the historic return interval is a lot less than 1,000 years, if there are a number of less severe events of a similar nature recorded, the use of such a model is likely to provide useful information to help estimate the future return interval. Equals probability distributions equals, one would like to be able to interpret the return period in probabilistic models. The most logical interpretation for this is to take the return period as the counting rate in a Poisson distribution since it is the expectation value of the rate of occurrences. An alternative interpretation is to take it as the probability for a yearly Bernoulli trial in the binomial distribution. This is disfavored because each year does not represent an independent Bernoulli trail but is an arbitrary measure of time. This question is mainly academic as the results given obtained will be similar under both the Poisson and binomial interpretations. Poisson, take the Poisson distribution as where is the number of occurrences the probability is calculated for, the time period of interest and is the counting rate? Equals example equals, if the return period of occurrence is 1 in 234 years then the probability of no occurrence in 10 years is binomial, in a given period of n years, the probability of a given number r of events of a return period is given by the binomial distribution as follows. In the limit of, such that, then, Take where t is return interval, n is number of years on record, m is the number of recorded occurrences of the event being considered. Equals example equals, given that the return period of an event is 100 years. So the probability that such an event occurs exactly once in 10 successive years is. Equals risk analysis equals, return period is useful for risk analysis. When dealing with structure design expectations, the return period is useful in calculating the riskiness of the structure. The probability of at least one event that exceeds design limits during the expected life of the structure is the complement of the probability that no events occur which exceed design limits. The equation for assessing this parameter is where is the expression for the probability of the occurrence of the event in question in a year? n is the expected life of the structure. See also cumulative frequency analysis. References